Hello, uh, I'm Rainer from VM Van Life, and today we're working with uh, Melanie from Wandering Roots Co. We're going to be installing a window in a passenger sliding door in a Ford Transit. Uh, we've already got the surround out, we've unpacked the window, everything's good. Uh, so we're going to, Melanie's going to give me a hand. We're going to test fit this here and we see here everything's looking good and it just doesn't follow the curve of the window right here. So we've already traced out our line with our Sharpie. So when we pull this down, you can see that it doesn't quite follow the top up here. So we've already marked it out. So when we drill our holes for our outside template, we're just going to follow along here so that we make sure that we get our window perfectly and we'll actually just double check the top on this side as well and then we'll trace that as well okay so we're just going to trace out on this top corner so that we ensure that we get the right curve up here so we've got that and then we follow straight down and we, when we come here it's just going to go straight across but we'll draw the line just to be safe that line across there now when we pull this down here we can see that we've got our curve here for this side of the window we've got our curves on this side and we've got a straight line across here so we'll drill all our holes uh, so that we have a template on the outside so that when we go through with the jigsaw everything will be all nice and pretty Okay, now that we've got everything all taped and ready to go, uh, we're going to take our jigsaw and cut all our holes. I'm going to leave a small section at the top here and a small section at the bottom after everything's cut. And then we're going to tape the panel into place so that when we do our final cuts, we don't have to worry about it falling in and damaging the floor or falling out on top of us. So let's start cutting. Now that we've got our hole cut and we've gone around and sanded all the edges just that way it's not sharp, uh, made sure everything was level from all the drill holes, uh, we're going to test fit the window now and make sure everything fits perfectly. So what, what we've done is we've cut our initial hole and it's always better to cut small instead of too big. So we can see that it's catching up on this corner here and it's catching up on this corner here. So I'm just gonna get Melanie to hold the window in place here. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm gonna go inside and double check where it's catching. So I can see along here that I didn't cut this down far enough. So this needs to be cut down further and then that'll bring the window down. And then I need to cut a little bit more out on this side so that the window will drop inside here. So we'll go outside and we'll help Melanie with the window and then we'll cut the hole a little bit bigger. Okay, so we've got our window test fit, made sure everything is good. Uh, we're gonna put some sealant on the bare metal. Uh, we're just using some black paint here, just to make sure that we aren't gonna have any issues with rusting down the line. Uh, but we, what we did notice is if you watch right here, the amount of flex in this panel. Uh, I, haven't noticed this in any sprinter that I've done this in, but if you, in here, where they've mounted the two pieces of metal together, there's actually a foam in there, but there's nothing in this bottom corner. And it starts again right here. So we are gonna use our Sikaflex sealant and do an, a bead around the entire window, just because we don't wanna have any leaks. So we're gonna do that just to be 100% sure. Okay, so we just finished putting the Sikaflex around the outside just as a secondary precaution. So now we're going to put the window in 
and then I will come inside and start screwing the interior bezel in. So now that we've got our window in, uh, we're going to put our bezel here on top of the window. We're going to run in our first top screw here. And then once that's in, we can uh, sort of hold the window in place for us. Now we'll just run in the rest of our screws. Make sure everything holds in nicely. This was our video on installing a sliding door window on a Ford Transit van. Van was supplied courtesy of Wandering Roots Co. If you like what you saw, hit that like button. If you have any questions, comment below, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later.